Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Today's session using texture fills with Steve Spence. Brought to you by Conde Systems. In today's session, we're going to talk about fountain fills. As with all fills, we're going to find that under the icon, almost to the bottom of the left hand screen, we click on it, we see a number of fills and we see texture fills. So we're going to click on that. And we get a screen to select what we want. And the screen gives us all kinds of options. This can be even mind numbing. But we're going to look at several of these. The first one is samples. Now these are just presets that are loaded into CorelDRAW. There are others available, but there are thousands, tens of thousands, millions, and perhaps billions of combinations that we can get out of this. I can't imagine why you would need many more. Anyway, uh, samples. And samples happen to pop up with one called Airbrush. And this is one I use all the time. It makes a great background because it really doesn't have anything in it. It's just a combination of colors that are thrown out on the screen in various um, shapes and sizes. Uh, if you don't like that particular one, you can click down here on Preview, and it changes the combinations that we'll talk about later of colors. And when you find something you like, and I don't see anything I like, well, it, green's kind of cool. We'll click on that, and there's our background. Now, if we enlarge that background, it does not add to it. It just literally enlarges what we already have. And as you can see, it just makes a interesting pattern that you might put text over or some other graphic. We'll pull this back in and let's go back and look at some more. Texture fill and alabaster. As so we click through these, you see that a sample is shown down here in this box. And always we can do multiple previews. It's kind of like scrolling down the page to pick another spot. Clouds. That's an interesting one to use on name badges, by the way. It looks kind of funky there, but actually it makes a pretty good name badge. As we continue to go down, you can see additional names. These names really have very little to do with the image that's there. They're just names, and there are different images that you can pick out. If we go up and look at Samples 5, for instance, you see some additional ones. There's nothing really different about these. They're just different. Um, nothing particularly exciting in Samples 5 that I've found. Sample 6, same thing. Circuit board is kind of nice. Uh, it gives a interesting background. It uh, doesn't really say anything or project anything. It's just green, but it takes away from the solid look of green and gives you a little texture to it. Cotton candy is pink. Electric fence. I don't know what that has to do with electric fence, ripple, and so on. We look at sample 7. We see more of the same. All kinds of these are available. Samples 8, same thing. Just more and more of the same. Samples 9. Now, Samples 9 has one in here that I really like, and that's what popped up, which was Symbols. Symbol gives a kind of a uh, drop a rock in a stream, and it shows the rings that go out from the stream. Um, this one is gold, obviously, like a symbol. But you can change that, and we'll come back to that in a minute. You can change the colors of it. Uh, that's the only one I really like that's in this package, but you can go through and look at them. That you may find something you really like. Tie dye is not too bad. 
um, just a combination of colors. And uh, that's textures. Uh, let's take a little closer look at what we can do with some of these. Tie-dye, for instance, that's as good as any to, to work with. We can increase the brightness of them, and um, we have to unlock it. And then we can increase the brightness a little bit. And we'll click OK, and you can see it did brighten it up a little bit. I've never had particular reason to do that, but you can do it. And um, this one, which is the texture number, changes according to what you select over here. So if you want to remember the number of the texture, you don't want to go through all this list looking for it, you can type it in by number. Now, this list is the color combination that's used in that particular fill. So, say for instance, you don't want any blues in it. We can take the blues out and replace them with reds. And do a preview, and you can see all the blue is gone. And now we have reds. If you don't want this particular yellow, you can go in and change and put a different yellow in. And if we preview it, you can see it changed a little bit, not too much. Let's go in and take this violet out. Replace it with a deep, deep blue and see what it does. Uh, actually, nothing. <laughs> but uh, it did change some of the combinations in the stream that's there. And then you can lock them down so that they cannot be changed again. So this just gives you the capability of doing whatever design you particularly like. Let's look at steel wool. That's steel wool. It's just black and white. Nothing particularly exciting about that. But if we go in and we say, I want to use yellow, and I want to use blue, and preview, and now we have a totally different kind of design. And so this is infinite. We could keep doing this for hours on end. And, of course, it would serve no purpose. Just know that this list is available. You can change the colors to get what you want. There are countless numbers of combinations just under the preview button, so don't forget about that. The options gives us uh, some DPI capabilities. If you're putting this online, for instance, you might want to pull it down from 300 DPI, put it down to 96. But for sublimation, we always try and keep it at 300 if at all possible. Tiling we'll talk about later in another session. We'll do tiling a different way than what it can be done here. It's much more effective. You can change the orientation a little bit. If you need to do that, you can skew it or you can rotate it, just like you can with the other fills. But not too much there that you probably would ever use. All right. Simple as it is, that's texture fills. Hope it helps. Talk to you soon.